Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this video, we'll be doing a short walkthrough of the CyberReason platform and how we can be a massive boost to your efficiencies within your security operations. So to start out, just want to paint the picture. This is a, a common, commonly used EDR tool. This is a screen that's going to look really familiar to a lot of security analysts. And what we're trying to say here is that most detection and response tools are going to generate a massive amount of alerts. There's lots of scrolling involved. It could be thousands upon thousands per month. And those alerts arrive uncorrelated without context. And so they're going to miss the bigger picture. And analysts are going to have to make sense of those manually, which are false positives, which are true positives, and which are the most critical. Cyber Reason is different because our Malloc detection engine builds detections behind the scenes in a highly correlated and contextualized way. We cross-examine data using the best graph analysis in the industry. And everything arrives on, on your doorstep fully correlated, contextualized, and you see the full, the full attack narrative in a single view, meaning that we are operation-centric rather than alert-centric. So jumping in, into the console to show you how this works, let's walk through an incident from beginning to end. Uh, starting from our discovery, our discovery dashboard, this is where users and security leaders will have a high-level overview of your environment and the Cyber Reason platform. And we notice uh, here a critical alert that involves command and control activities. Uh, this is a larger dot than others, meaning it's, it's a little bit more severe. It involves more users, devices, et cetera. So as good analysts, we want to handle something critical before moving backwards to less critical detections. So once we jump into the Malop screen itself, uh, this is going to be a fundamental concept within our platform. Uh, pretty much every route that branches off into other parts of, of the UI does so from the main trunk of the Malop. And this is really the, the UI manifestation of the learnings and connections that were made by the Malop detection engine. So again, that full view of the attack. Uh, if we want to quickly understand what took place, and this is a critical alert after all, uh, there are a few components that are included within every Malop that will help analysts of any skill level quickly understand the, the situation. So we see the criticality level. This is high. Uh, we, that's how we know uh, how to prior, prioritize this. We see a plain, a plain text description of the event, so it's easily understood what Cyber Reason saw, why we think this is a malicious, a malicious detection. And uh, we also see the full scope of the operation visualized here within our timeline. Uh, the, the timeline is going to show you every step that was taken by the attacker within your environment. Uh, we, we can see connections, uh, any communications inbound or outbound by the attackers, tools used by the attackers, and also threat intelligence from both internal and external sor sources that enrich our understanding of, of what took place. So root cause for this particular attack involved the malicious use of a domain generation algorithm. This is a detectable sign that an adversary is beaconing outside of the organization and they're hiding within the noise of many domains. And if you think back to SolarWinds, this was a, a core TTP of the SolarWinds attack. We can also look at MITRE attack tagging. So uh, how did this detection relate to the overall MITRE attack framework? What rules were violated uh, by, by attack with, within this uh, detection? We can dig into the process profile. So what processes were running that were malicious? How were they executed? Uh, we see command line, for instance, and that, that's going to be worrisome. Uh, but overall, this is going to show you the uh, parent-child process relationships. We can dig into the machine profile, uh, what, what were the endpoints specifically involved, and also the user profile, uh, what identities were involved in this attack. So we want to look at the process profile. This is going to be a, a pretty important piece of, of uh, our response to this. So we do that through our attack tree. Uh, this is going to be a visual rep representation of parent and child processes of, of this particular malum. So we start with outlook.exe. Uh, Things start out pretty normally, actually, it looks like. Uh, th this is an Excel sheet that was passed through uh, Outlook. The victim user interacted with that spreadsheet. There are some suspicions within, within outlook.exe and also excel.exe, but uh, nothing too crazy. But as we follow this attack a little bit deeper, we once we get to reg server 32, we start to see that some MITRE rules are being flagged and also msbuild.exe. These are normally benign processes in and of themselves that, that don't raise flags, but uh, healthy processes can be piggybacked by adversaries to deliver a payload. So here's the big one, the, the smoking gun, so to speak. We see injected Meterpreter. Uh, Meterpreter is a Metasploit attack payload that provides an interactive shell to the attacker, and it allows them to basically explore a target machine and execute code. So that is definitely a, an eyebrow raiser. And we also have the added benefit of any attack rules that were violated uh, in, in the running of this process. So at this point, we know this is clearly malicious. This is a sign of a true positive, uh, a true positive detection. I've seen all, all that I need to see as an analyst, and I want to move to respond and re remediate and boot this adversary from my environment. 
So to do that, we go back to the original malop. Uh, this is again, the, the consolidated view of the attack. So all, all impacted components are here. And because of that, uh, we have the ability to orchestrate response across all impacted users and devices with a single click. And uh, uh, you, you can also tailor your aggression level uh, of, of your response uh, based on present needs at, at, at the time. So uh, from this point, uh, we're going to respond. We do a single click. It's taken care of. It's resolved. But uh, as, as good analysts, we might want to dig a little bit deeper. Maybe we have the, the burning question, is this process executing this way uh, anywhere else across my environment? So what, what we allow for is analysts of any skill level to investigate using point and click investigations. You don't have to bring years upon years of, of query language, query uh, building language to the table to be able to construct these, de these detections. Uh, th these are all built in, in point and click fashion. So we can then start to dig, to dig a little bit deeper and use this new IOC that we found to uh, in encounter other uh, issues within our environment. So thank you for your time on this. This was just a quick teaser of how cyber reason technology and in particular our malop detection engine deliver efficiency gains. We help to up-level junior analysts, force multiply the team outputs, consolidate alerts, and automate the triage and incident response process. For organizations out there that don't have a SOC, you can still benefit from the speed of our resolutions and our efficiencies by bringing in our managed detection and response service. So of, of all of the MDR services available in the market today, Cyber Reason has the industry best SLAs. We have an initial time of, to detect of one minute. We are able to triage and investigate in five minutes and then fully remediate within 30 minutes. And that's driven largely by our uh, efficiencies within the platform, the MALOP and the MALOP detection engine. So to learn more, please visit our website. Uh, you can request a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and, and deep dive uh, to learn a little bit further. Thank you.